Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 34 of my Talents LP. Okay, so hands up, who notices my citizens count is at an awesome 83. Soldiers 26. Uh, I think maybe I probably should have started recording a little earlier, but I was just having fun playing and uh, sometimes when I play this game it's so just nice and relaxing uh, to play this game and unwind and not have to <laughs> constantly talk. Uh, sorry about that. I So I did a massive time skip and oh, 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 I didn't know I was unpaused. My, my bad. Um, so there's my iron mine, the shaft going down. Let's go down first and see what's down here. Uh, so I believe my heroes have come cl have cleared out every accessible area down here. And we have just the yeah yes yes this is uh where is it the, the, there it is there it is uh, we blocked this up with a wall uh, so to stop the heroes from continuing further into the dungeon because I wanted to do some just chill time so with my town's people not having any orders for a while uh, immigrants just kept coming and eventually, yeah, that, that's new right there. I'll show you what that is in a second. Uh, they kept coming and coming, and and I got more people. So I should have I should have filmed myself making these areas, I suppose. Uh, although a lot of it was just me waiting around on these walls to get built. So not that big of a deal, I hope. Let me give you a tour and explain everything I did while I was uh, skipping ahead. Uh, first boring thing, I duplicated this design here all over again and built the exact same thing right next to it. So, And it fit nicely in here up to the edge. And so I've got even more room than 100. Uh, I moved the hospital because I didn't like where it was. and. I moved the hospital in here and I decorated it and I made sure it was brightly lit like a hospital should be and I made the walls this nice uh, super light tan limestone uh, nice little off-white cream colors like a hospital usually is uh, very brightly lit and clean looking it looks like you could do surgery in there um, so there's my hospital got three rooms got a little skylight here and when I make the roof up on this level I'm gonna maintain the windows there to hope to hopefully let the sun come down in. I assume that's how that works. Uh, right, and let's go down. Did I do anything else over here? Oh, my fishing dock is gone. Where did it go? I wonder. Let's go down and, ha and, and find out. Uh, in here, fishing dock is right there now. I made an internal I made like a pond inside my castle and put all the fishing docks here and they work. And so now, uh, even in the event of a siege, like if I had to seal off the doors and have everybody inside the castle, I believe I have a food source uh, just inside here that they don't even have to go outside to farm anymore. And so I think I think if, if I was besieged, my... Uh, my castle could survive just off fish. Uh, people probably wouldn't be as happy. They'd lose all that variety bonus, but they wouldn't starve. Um, especially because if an emergency situation like that happened, I would uh, probably expand this and maybe even make another one somewhere. Uh, the tavern? I expanded the tavern rooms to include the heroes that have now joined. Uh, nothing special, just some barbarians and rogues. And I expanded the barracks here. We've got the awesome McBadass barracks is here, and it cuts off right, yeah, here, to another barracks. These are actually two separate barracks, but they're connected. The Busnoa Vengeance Army is right here, and I've added more armor and weapons cabinets and decorated it a bit. Uh, I guess it, I guess it, you didn't need to see me building all this after all, because it's just as easy to just say, here's what I built and this is what I did. Uh, you've seen me building stuff like this before, so uh, I guess it's not so bad. So there's, I've got enough room for 
12 over here and more than much more than that over here. I'm using these double uh, layer bunk beds to save space. I finally figured out how those worked. Well, I mean, I knew how they worked, but I finally uh, put them to use. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So, and I put doors on the taverns. Um, I'm honestly not really a huge fan of how the doors look. Uh, I don't know what it is, but like everything is just one block high, and then suddenly these doors are two blocks high, and they just look kind of, I don't know, they just look kind of off to me. Um, so, like I know everything I think is to scale, like when you look at the people, but the people are only technically one block tall, but they extend into two blocks. It's just kind of odd. Um, so, whatever. Uh, and over here, I think I've got a yeah, I've got a one high door over here, uh, and I can actually lock that and seal that. I can close close and lock it to stop people from going down there. So, and actually, I believe if I put once I get rid of the scaffoldings, and I actually I, th I think. No, I won't get rid of the scaffoldings till it's till the thing is more built up. But mm, if I put if I put doors here on the front, I could uh, I could actually lock everybody inside and s just seal the castle, and then and like if in an, in an emergency siege situation, because I think one day I might put the sieges on hard. Um, let me, I'll go ahead and pause. Oh, hold a sec. Um, how about that? Yeah, that's a little better. That crunching noise is a little loud. Um, so some caravans came and we traded. Uh, nothing, nothing really much has happened. Other than me building and just waiting around for immigrants to come. So here's my tavern. And now you'll notice... You'll notice I've got this room here. And I actually did dig down here. Um, this I made all this stone. So we've actually got some stone floors here. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Because my people kept getting stuck down. And I'd have to put, put uh, scaffoldings down to let themselves out. Like, there'd be a hole here... And they try to fill it and go down there and then lock themselves in and so whatever. Uh, there's an empty tavern room and I'm waiting until version 12 to put down another tavern room to make room for another hero. Because in version 12, there is going to be a new hero in the game. And I'll be very interested to uh, get him in my town and see how things go with him. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else I did? Uh, I think I put in more lights, but that's not too interesting. It's just more lights. Uh... Yeah, and getting moving the, the fishing area from here down to there keeps them away from that bridge when sieges come in, and also it uh, keeps them inside the castle and cuts down on their travel time a lot. We get more immigrants just now? I think we did. Nice. So, uh, let's go check out our army. We have... Awesome McBadass has... Uh, well, four people. Benedict Mulan. Mulan! We've got Mulan on our team. And we've got Asselin and Gandalf and Joseph Stookley, the original. Uh... And now the caravans brought a plague bringer, and I got it for uh, Milan here. And the, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's plague bringer seems pretty good. A trickster, the lightning, and a magical mace. Now the Busna Vengeance Army. I've tried to homogenize their gear, and I went with a particular theme. I made samurai helmets and then spiderite gear and then bone swords. So they look like samurai, and while I was making them, I was actually listening to the Mortal Kombat 2 character selection uh, music. You can just search for it on YouTube. Um, that was the, the theme of this army. And I actually had an urge to go play Shogun 2 Total War. My lord, our units are running from the battlefield. 
A shameful display! Uh, so I've got a bunch of samurai. I mean, look at these guys. Doesn't that look like samurai armor? And the spiderite matches it, and it's all red. And I wanted to give them katana, but I don't. They didn't really have any of that, so I just gave them bone long swords because they were reasonably cheap to manufacture, and they were effective. So we've got a. They're not. They're not as well outfitted and equipped as also McBadass, but considering I've got 22 of them. Um, they're my main army, and I feel I feel a lot safer having this many soldiers all geared and equipped, ready to uh, guard my town. Now I made them a boss around group. I'm not totally sure what that does. I assume, well, practically it seems that they pick a townsperson to follow around, and they'll just follow them around, and it's, it's kind of like an automated escort option, and I suspect, and I'm sure people will tell me in the comments, but honestly, by the time you've seen this, I'll probably have looked it up. In fact, you know what? Just just to cut down on the comments, let me I'll pause the game, let me alt-tab out right now and go look what Boss Around Group does, and I'll just tell you guys. Okay, I just checked. Um, so, Boss Around makes them wander around, and give orders to other townspeople and the effect that has is it makes them work faster but it does have a negative effect on their happiness I'm not sure how much and considering that I just got immigrants um, let me pause is there so hold on a sec okay well let me go let me look around for a soldier that's clearly bossing around a citizen yeah okay yeah okay so he's doing the exclamation that must be the boss round effect right there so your name is Saturn Deb Barbs and you're a tan shirt guy probably one of my newer townspeople so you're gonna be towards the bottom if I had to guess yeah so you're 57 happiness and you're harvesting let's unpause and monitor your happiness here your meat fulfilled 58 you just got more happy Well, if there is a negative effect from the happiness, uh, I believe all the decorations and the food diversity in my town is more than making up for it. Which, um, I don't know, consider if, if I lived in a castle and there was like things, you know, just outside and just under the ground that wanted me dead, um... I wouldn't mind having a soldier following me around, you know? It doesn't seem like the worst thing. Um, Alright. And I honestly, I, I don't I don't really notice the speed buff. So, oh, they're fishing, they're ordering them to fish faster. Now that's, now that's funny. They'll take a happiness hit, apparently, unless maybe it could have been removed for all I know. Because I looked at the patch notes for version 0.45, which is when this was done, which is like ancient history. Um, so they get happy from fishing, but then somebody bosses them around to fish. So it's like, oh no, I hate that you're telling me to do this thing that I enjoy doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, I still would really like an average town happiness meter somewhere that I can see in some menu um, just to watch it go up or down depending on when I do things like the boss around group um, but hopefully it'll keep the soldiers wandering around let me take them out of that and then just put them back in a guard group and see what they do um, if they do that they just kind of lounge around the barracks I believe but I kind of, I like having, especially if a siege was going to come, and let me, is, are my sieges on hard? Uh, oh yeah, I did a big time skip, and I didn't want the thing pausing all the time, and I turned off sieges. I'm going to put sieges on hard. Let's live dangerously. And 
Because normal sieges have been kind of a joke so far. Maybe I'm just over-prepared. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh! And uh, another thing. I don't think I showed this off. Gathering. There's fish. Uh, I dug a well right here and turned on the production of water buckets. And that's for... Uh, uh, we are gathering some other stuff like bananas and I need I think I, I should plant banana trees probably I think um, but what we do have is things like banana bread and there's meat pies cookies I'm baking cookies now banana pies the banana bread and the uh, and the cooking there's also cactus soup mushroom soup. I do have these ordered up for any time I get eggs, uh, baked bananas, uh, omelets. <laughs> so basically I just turned on a little bit of everything that I can possibly make. If I have the resources to actually make it, it's on the menu to be made uh, in small number, just to give them a variety of things to eat. Uh, my main staples are still cooked fish, which is fantastic, and uh, in the baking sector, cake and bread. Bread is like my emergency fallback food. If I see them eating the bread, I know that I'm. I need to do something with food management. Um, it's kind of like a, like the last thing they'd go to eat. So, all right. Um, you know what? I do need a banana farm, and I have to make it on jungle. So, eh, let's see here. I do have some planted banana trees, but I'd like to expand these. Uh, can I, can I just, let me order them to harvest everything here, and then after that, I'll order them to, uh, chop it all down and then till. Yeah, come harvest it. Great. That's a lot of people. One thing about having such a big population is, is orders like these get done really fast, and I love it. It's, it's really nice. Man, look at all this bananas. Well, I think I've got enough for the... For all the food I ordered uh, cooked up. Anyway. Uh, I need more banana trees. So that means tilling here. And tilling has to be done on the jungle. Um, can we till like right here? Maybe this stretch of land. And obviously we need to chop some of this stuff down and get it out the way. I hate that it's a hill here and it's some of the land is is on a different elevation. It'd be nice if it was one just flat big jungle area. Okay, so we got some jungle wood. Uh, yeah, till all that. Uh, as soon as it's... Did they... Did they till underneath this stuff? Let me cut... Cut down... Uh, yeah, cut down that stuff that's in the way, please. Get everything out the way. And I'll do another chop order, I suppose. Chop and cut and just get rid of it all. Yes, thank you. And I guess now till. Now that it's all, we got rid of it all. Come and till it. And then, after it's all tilled, no, I have to wait. Oh, another thing that's coming out in version 12 is, uh, in addition to the custom Vex Hero, which is going to be sweet. Um, and when he comes out, I'll, I'll show him off when I, once I get him out of town. And because uh, they, it's pretty much exactly how I wanted them. Um, had to do a few changes to get him compatible with how the game handles things, but uh, he's uh, gonna be a really cool hero. I think a lot of people will like him. Uh, he's a new type of hero too. Like he's not like the other heroes. 
he's kind of like a more defensive hero, like a defense slash economy hero. Um, you'll want him more in your town than in the dungeon, I think. Okay, so is that tilled? Okay, now we just need to plant, and then we're gonna plant uh, plant banana tree seedlings. Takes bananas, hummus on jungle. Gotcha. Uh, I think we will have to get rid of this wood. Oh, looks like my, my townspeople are getting rid of it. Now, is that a till order? Oh yeah, here he comes. Yeah, you're gonna till. Fantastic. As soon as you're done tilling, I can plant this all. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on, hurry up. I guess I could just destroy it, but yeah, you're coming to get it anyway. Thank you. I don't. I find myself not having to destroy as much stuff because they're quick. They will more quickly come in and uh, jungle mushrooms, jungle mushrooms, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Uh, I will blow up that banana tree though, just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna redo. Let's redo this and make it a little more neat. Uh, these are the jungle mushrooms. So I want all the jungle mushrooms right here on that row. And actually, I'll make an entire row of just jungle mushrooms here. And we'll plant them all there. And all the banana trees can be planted here on this stretch. And then I'll till another batch of stuff. Um, destroy that. Get rid of that. And we'll push the jungle back a bit here. And we'll do another batch of agricultural land right there. And so that's all the jungle mushrooms. Uh, this will be all the banana trees. And then this right here is going to be the radishes. Yeah, the blue radishes. Uh, and we've got a caravan coming. What is the caravan? Ah, oh, food caravan, blah. Not really... It's useful, like, the first time, just so you can get, uh... Where's those, um, radishes? There they are. Radishes. Fantastic. Uh, and go ahead and harvest all this to make sure we get the seeds. like a stampede of people coming into the jungle to get this stuff. Man, I remember when the jungle was like a threat. You guys remember that? Like, I think my very first or second episode, it was it was the uh, froggies in the jungle, and I was like, oh, better watch out. Better be careful about those guys, you know. Oh, good. We got our first little bits of uh, stuff planted. Planted banana. Entry ceilings, fantastic! That's so good. Uh, what's the caravan got to sell? Food. I have been buying snow cherries just because I can't get them any other way. That's about it. Um, meh. He doesn't even have all that much money to trade. We do have a surplus of blue radishes that I don't believe we're gonna need really. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these. There we go. What do, what actually do I do with blue radishes again? What do they make? Oh, they make something. Let's go find out. Uh, I think it's cooking, right? Cactus soup? No. Mountain stew? Is that it? No. Um, is it the mushroom soup? No. It's a... Uh... What? It must be a... Uh... It must be a baking thing then. Apple pie, banana... Cake. No. 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 Not in there either. Uh, I'm gathering. I've got them. The blue radishes. Takes the blue radish plant. Um, I think I'll turn all these up to 30. You know what? I may as well pick these just in case they ever spawn on the map to make sure we have a few of each on hand. 
And I probably should just plant, I probably should plant a few of these, uh, there, there we go. Plant a few of these just to have them on hand to make sure I never accidentally cut them down. Okay, seriously though, what takes the blue radishes? Am I just blind? Did I miss it? I didn't miss it. It's called a blue radish. Uh, it doesn't use it in cooking. Now I'm kind of confused. What does the... Isn't there a mountain stew? That doesn't take it. That's like, it takes everything. And it's not in there. Uh, cooking, baking, butchering, gathering. Jungle... Oh, there it is! That takes a baker's table, banana, and a blue radish. Well, that's 90% fill for just two resources, and you don't even have to cook them. Um, no. I guess I'll turn the reduction of those on. That's actually... I'll, I'll do that 20. That's, that's a pretty easy food to make. Okay, so it's in the it's in the gathering section. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's not really baking or cooking. Uh, hmm. Now, one thing I found kind of weird is the cave mushrooms is hummus on snow. So it's they're not. They're not actually down in the caves, which is what my first thought was. I'm like, oh, that must be, you know, maybe one day there'll be a map where there's not even any grass, and it's just like in the Rocky Mountains, and you've got to dig down into the ground to find uh, cave mushrooms in, in the first level of the dungeon or something. But no, the cave mushrooms are actually uh, a food item for the snow map, which kind of caught me off guard. I thought... They'd at least be called snow mushrooms or ice mushrooms or something. But nope, cave mushrooms grow in the snow. Um, That would be kind of cool, though. There ought to be a uh, food item that spawns like down here on the first level of the dungeon. So if you're ever in a map where it's just nothing, like no resources, you can dig down and find like some food in the dungeon and, and go fight the spiders for it. Um... Now, I haven't had a siege yet, and I think I'm on max speed, right? Yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm definitely on max speed. Uh, did I did I mention on version 12 the game speed will go up to 5 now? So be, you can actually speed it up faster? Uh, I think I'll probably leave it on speed 3 when I play. Although, hopefully, maybe I can do like the time skips when I want to construct something or speed things up a bit. Uh, that'll be really handy for the LP if I can just set it to 5 and make it go really fast for some time. I'm not sure how fast it'll go, but uh, we'll find out. Um, I'm not sure, but I think my town may have hit population cap. Are there any unassigned rooms? It's a good way to quickly tell. That would actually be another thing in the... Uh, I know what we need. We need like an information panel. Um... Maybe clicking the calendar pulls it up, and it's got like average happiness, uh, total citizens, uh, total free rooms. Um, I don't know, total enemies killed. Just whatever stats you might want to see about your town uh, would be in there. That'd be a, a nice place to put it on the UI user interface. Um, <clears throat> but I don't see any unassigned rooms, so I think we're max you know if there's no penalty for no need for happiness really I'll make them boss around again get things done faster now I'm really curious now that I've set the siege to hard and I did do that yeah, I didn't misclick or anything yes yeah, siege is hard okay I'm really curious to see what they're gonna be um now, another thing I'd like to do is to tear down this wall and make it one of the stone walls to make it look nicer. Because the mud, just the mud wall is starting to get kind of on my nerves. Um, that's a good candidate for the uh, off-camera stuff, though. Um, I th think what I'll do... And my, is my stock of iron recovering? No, it's not. Because I've got orders to queue up. Uh, now that I've actually got a sizable population... And now that I've actually got an, an army to maintain, I've been making sure to have... Let me 
go find it. No. I don't think I have any of this queued up anymore, do I? Oh, I've got some of this queued up. Let me cancel this. Oh, oh, look! Look, uh, developers, if you're watching, I, I found a bug, kind of. This right here is queued up. And, like, that five? Like, that's an order for five spider right boots. And when I click this, nothing happens. Like, they, they have to make it. And if I hammer left click on this, like, eventually sometimes it'll go down. Like, it just went down to four. And it just went down to three, but it doesn't always click, 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 click. Like, some, it gets stuck. Like, it won't go down. And I don't quite understand what's going on here. Like, I can sit here all day and hammer this. And, oh, there that one goes. I had one last night when I was playing, when I was not recording, and it just wouldn't go down. Uh, so, there's probably some explanation for it, because I would think a bug like this would have been found by now. Uh, my first theory is that maybe a townsperson is interacting with this uh, crafting order, and that's why it won't let me cancel it until they drop whatever they were doing. Um, that's my suspicion, anyway. Or it could be a user interface bug. Uh, or it could just be a rare bug that has only happened to me and hasn't been widely reported, but... So, yeah, you can see I'm just hammering... Oh, and it finally went. So I'll just click, 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 click. Got one left, gotta cancel it. I don't want spider right anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Click. Uh... It's gonna be stubborn. I wonder if I can, if I click up and then click it down really fast, if it'll go, go. Oh, I can get, go up and then, oh, now, now the two stuck. Great. Oh, the two went down. Let's see if I can get the one down. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Yes, finally. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I got that on camera because I was I need to report that because uh, the game is still in uh, like beta, I believe. Um, or I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know what to call it, uh, but there's still, there's, the developers are still actively working on it. It's not a finished game yet. They're still adding stuff every patch, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, I've got armor queued up. Yeah, this is going to be eating my iron for a while as I order up all this armor. And I think I actually ran out of spiderite. Yeah, I'm out of Spiderite. I used it all up making my Samurai armor. Uh, I do have... What do we got? We got uh, we got a little bit of Diorite. We still have over 100 Goblinite. We got a half stack of Hobgoblinite. Uh, actually, I shouldn't use that term. We've got um, half stack being 100. I don't know why. Well, te no, technically, I think a half stack in this game would be 5. A stack being a full barrel. Anyway, we have 57 Hobgoblinite. 12 gold. I could actually make uh, some more gold items. I haven't yet, just because I have to... I feel like I need to carefully use this and put a lot of thought into into uh, what I'm doing before I make the gold stuff, because it's not renewable, and I only have so much of it. Well, technically, I can, I can buy more from merchants, but my source of gold is super... Uh, the rate at which I get gold from merchants is really slow and unpredictable. So, I want to be judicious in my use of gold. Uh, I do have some silver. I've got 23 silver. Gold is almost as good as silver. I was looking at the, the stats on gold and silver, and they're really close. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. And let's see. What else do we got? I think that's it. Hobgoblinite and Goblinite, which is not that great. Uh, mostly I want to keep it around because it's used in crafting other higher level stuff. Um, so, and we have bones still. Now, I think my bone production is set up for... Let me go check that. Uh, butchering? Yeah, 100 on stock. That's fine. Mostly for the bone, bone swords, which are pretty good. Um, no, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, wood, I've stopped production on wood because it's, it's not very good anymore. Uh, it's just not cutting it. Uh, bone stuff is still okay, I suppose. But 
uh, iron is is better. Um, like 689 versus the 459. So yeah, iron is a lot better than bone. Spiderite's all right as long as it doesn't get any goofy uh, any uh, goofy mods on it. So there's the goblinite stuff. I'm saving the goblinite because it's used in making boots of haste. So that's why I'm not really using it. Uh, because my supply of that is is also f limited, except unless unless I can get more in sieges. Like actually, I've gotten a lot of spiderite from sieges when those big big raids come. So yeah, hopefully I'll get more sieges. Um, so hobgoblinite's pretty good as well. But I don't want to make any of that because again, I'm I'm saving it. Uh, I don't mind just making tons of stuff that I have renewable of, um, but I still feel like I'm kind of a noob at the game, and I don't want to regret any decisions later, like, oh, I should have saved more of that stuff, because... So anything I've got limited of, I'm I'm trying to use more carefully. Except for the spider, right? I couldn't resist, because, I mean, just look at these guys. Look at them! They're all nice and neat, they're all homogenous, and they're all have, have matching armor. It looks friggin' awesome. And they look they look cool running around too. It's like a bunch of samurai, my own personal samurai army. Okay, so I got the iron boots going. Yeah, that's that's where all my iron is going for a while because each of those is two, and I've ordered up to have like ten of each on stock. Um, now the diorite stuff looks all right, uh, except for the now the hobgoblinite seventeen and the diorite is. What's the difference here? All right, hold on a sec. So this is copper and diorite. Let's look at the breastplates. 344 and 1379 versus 344. Okay, well, the same. And then 1724. So the Hobgoblinite is better. Let me look at the helmets just to make sure it's not just a breastplate that's an anomaly. 344. So the attack is the same for everything here. Um, 919 and then 804 804 804 804 and then the goblinite is 919 919 919 so there's a big jump in the breastplate there actually there's not a big of a difference between the the other things but the hobgoblinite breastplate is just really good huh okay so diorite, the diorite armor is kind of underwhelming considering it was above the hobgoblinites I thought on the tech tree. And I don't know if, I don't have any of this and I've never seen the Snickers before, so don't know what those are. Or any of this. Yeah, I've got several, I've got uh, Snickerite, Zombite, Ghoulite, and Ogreite that I have not even seen yet, so. Um... Now I'm kind of curious as to what advantage the diorite might have, or if the hobgoblinite is just supposed to be better. Because the hobgoblins came first, and then the diorite came later, so I, I thought the diorite would be better. Let's go take a look at the weapons. Maybe I'm missing something here. It'll be in the other weapons. <clears throat> Alright, so where is the hobgoblinite weapon? It is... it's down here. Yeah, it's right there. It's a hobgoblinite copish. Thick, long, and yellow. Okay. Um, and the diorite makes an axe. Just blue axe here. So. Hmm. Wait, that'll suck. There we go. That stops the uh, eating noises from looking at the kitchen. Um, so that's 1379, and this is 1264, so it has more attack. Copper and Hobgoblinite, and Iron and Diorite. Okay, so what about the defense? 479 versus 574. So it has better defense. And what about the damage? 1494 versus... 13. Okay, so the diorite makes a superior weapon. So use the diorite for the axe and the hobgoblinite for the armor. Gotcha. Okay. Simple enough. Mm. 
So diorite's more aggressive, I guess. But you would think that the um, the diorite armor then might have like less defense than the hobgoblinite, but a little bit more attack, maybe. Because 344 versus the 344. Yeah, yeah. Since these seem to be uh, very comparable armor sets. Now let me go check the Goblinite 344 and 1264. And then 12... Wow. Only slightly better than the Goblinite. Better than the Spiderite, though. Okay, well... Yeah, maybe the, the Diorite uh, armor should give just a little bit more attack or something. So it's like the offensive set. Ooh, we got a Caravan. What is... What is the caravan? I don't see it. Maybe it's in this pile over here. Uh, what is it? Is it a material? Ooh, ooh, the materials merchant is good because is he? Is he's somewhere in that mess? It's like where is Waldo in there? Um, where is he? That ain't him. Oh, there he is. He's on top of the statue right there. Okay. So I paused and let me take a look at what he's got. Uh, I think I've seen rare weapons on the materials merchant, and more importantly, silver and I guess I'll buy flint just because I don't know. Um, no, the head crusher. Oh, what was I? What? What did I just say? What did I say about shopping in general? Is is to make sure I've I'm making money so when these crazy good deals come. Like rare weapons, I can buy them. Yep, I'm buying that. Uh, the head crusher. Wow. That appears to be a. Well, it's a red. That's eleven thousand, and I'm buying the the silver. Yeah, definitely want the silver. And the flint, and I don't really need the iron, the copper. Um. Okay. Now let's see here. Well, definitely gonna trade in the wood. Because I have infinite of that. And let's see if I can give him all my wood. And... <laughs> well, if he swings that way and takes a fancy to me, maybe that would be worth something to... I am sorry, I apologize, that was terrible. So let me continue uh, trading my lumber to him. My timber. <clears throat> uh, my god... Damn it, Cleo. I blame you entirely. I always blame you for this. Um, and the bones. Maybe he'd like my... Boom. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, why? I didn't mean for this to happen. Why? Uh... I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm just here. Here are these resources in exchange for... Yeah, you can have the mud, too. Because it's friggin' mud. Um, oh, wait, no. Not the mud. Uh, the bamboo. That's why I keep it around. Bamboo is great trading fodder. I only have 50 of it on hand. Maybe I should expand my bamboo farm. Yeah, the glass is better to trade than the mud, because I can turn the mud into glass later. Uh, there we go. And I guess that's it. Maybe I should trade some of this stupid green gel. We've got so much of it. There. Okay, now I'm going to click trade. And then I pause, and the, the mallet should be somewhere on the ground in there. Uh, unless Paul runs and grabs it instantly. Okay, so it's a really good weapon. I want one of my guys to have it. And we've all got... They've all got, like, special weapons. I think, honestly, the Trickster is probably the... The, the weak link. Weak link in there. Yeah, the Trickster's only... Yeah, let's swap out. Alright, Gandalf, you get the, uh... You get the mallet. The head treasure. There it is. So I've clicked it for him to equip. Where is Gandalf? He's right there. All right, Gandalf, go get it. Go get it. Run, 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 run. Yes, that's you right there. Go get it. Go get it before some before Paul picks it up. Did you get it? Did you equip it?
Gandalf can't equip no item in destination. Where's my... Oh my god! Supermarket! Supermarket, damn it, man! Yeah. I, like, immediately gave him the order, and he was right over there, and he was running to get it. Uh. Rabble, 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 rabble. Betches is not pleased. Is there, is there any way we can get these more reliably on our people and not have the heroes just instantly take them before I even have a chance to put them on one of my guys? That's, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> All right, whatever. <sighs> Dang it, supermarket! Man, I paid so much money for that thing, and this person just takes it. <laughs> Stupid Elizabeth Lures, I don't like you. Now I'm, now I'm trying to figure out a way to kill you and, and take the maze. Maybe I could lock you in a room somehow, and you'll starve to death and, and drop it. I don't know. Or maybe... maybe no, I couldn't drop lava on you because that would kill the item. No, you'll just have to... You'll just have to die in combat. Yeah. Tell you what. You take that You take that head crusher you stole and you just go into the dungeon until you get killed and then I'll sell your corpse to the bone merchant and... Uh, and put the hammer on my guy here, on Gandalf, where it belongs. That's Gandalf's hammer. I ha I'm not going to forget about it. That hammer is going to Gandalf one day. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you killed somehow, you watch. Alright. Stupid stupid rogue heroes. Bullshit taking my stuff. Can't even like did everything I possibly could to get him over there as fast as possible, and they still take it. That is That is Bolshevik, that's what that is. Um Okay. Oh, and, and the lead's dev, by the way, is Super Malaprit. Not Supermarket, but I call him Supermarket because that sounds a lot funnier. Um, hmm. And now they're making up for my wood deficit by annihilating this forest here. Okay, well, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to... I'm going to take a break and let them finish this trade. It's probably going to take a while because it's a lot of stuff I ordered up. And I might knock down this wall and do something with it. We'll see. So thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. And for those who are curious, I'm, I'm not that upset about the hammer. It's just a game. And and I will, I will get this person killed. And yeah, you. You can't see it, but I'm doing shifty eyes right now. <laughs> you take my fucking hammer. <laughs> you took it. <laughs> you took the hammer. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? You're stuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. We'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen to this person. They might, like, use their ninja skills to get out of this. But, uh, we'll see what happens with this person stuck in here next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, take it easy. <laughs>